Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be uh, talking about how you can make the what walking beam mechanism in Cinderella. So as you can see, uh, the link BG is the crank along with link AE, and this point D is constrained to move reciprocally along this line, and uh, this link DEF is triangular in shape. So now let's take a look at how we can construct this. First of all, we'll enable the grid by clicking on this option. And now I'll be making a horizontal line at the origin. Right click on it and click on information type in zero. And right click on point A, click on information and make its coordinates zero zero. Now, as we can see from this uh, mechanism, the uh, the distance between point C and point A is five. So again, I'll be choosing this option and making this line at an angle of 90 degrees. Right click on point B and mark its coordinates minus five comma zero. So after doing this, we'll uh, take another look at the mechanism and the distance between AB is seven units. Uh, so again, we'll construct point B. Right click on this, click on information and type in here seven comma zero. And uh, the length of this link BG is two centimeters. So we right click on this and click on information, type in here radius 2. So after doing this, what I'll do is uh, select an arbitrary point on this line. So this point is actually depicting this point D, which is. Now we'll be constructing a circle around point D. And this will this circle is going to have the length of DE, which is going to be around um, 5.25 centimeters. So right click on this, click on information and uh, type in here the radius for 5.25 centimeters. Now taking A as center, we'll construct a, another circle around this. And the radius of this circle is going to be the length of this link AE, which is seven centimeters. So right click on this, click on information. So we'll basically select this intersection point as our point of one triangle. Then we are going to join AE. Now we'll basically construct another circle around point D and this will have the radius of length DF, which is 11.91 units. Now we're going to join DE. And uh, since this line DF is at an angle of 25 degrees with respect to DE, what I'm going to do is choose this option. And on this line, I'll drag this point and put it up here. And type in angle of 25. Now, in order to check the angle between these two uh, lines, uh, click on this option. Select these two lines and as you can observe the angle comes out to be 25 degrees. Now I'm going to select this point, uh, right click on this line and click on clipped. So uh, this link DF is basically made now. Now taking F as center I'll construct another circle.
and this is going to have a radius of 8.5 now since as you can see from this figure this link is getting intersected with this circle and this point G is the common intersection of both of these circles so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move this point F so that this intersects properly so click on modes click on move select point F sorry select point D and drag it above now as you can see this circle clearly intersects this and we can select this point now so click on this and then join these two lines join this line to this line and uh, make a para uh, triangle using points D, E, F so our mechanism is made now we'll go to modes and see an animation of this go to special click on animate now select point D and click on play so as you can see uh, we'll basically observe the desired mechanism so thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to this channel if you like i'll be bringing a lot more great videos ahead thanks